Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. The first bet. The first in the future series of Ratchet and Clank games that came out on the PlayStation 3 many years ago that I never actually got to play because I was busy trying to graduate high school. God, it's been a long time. Man, it's been a long time. Oh gosh. I've never actually touched any of these games past Deadlock, so all of this is a new experience to me. I wasn't sure if I wanted to just play the game straight out as it is, and then, like, on my own personal time, and then start a Let's Play of it, and, and pretend that it's all new, or just do it blind, so I'm going in blind. <laughs> we'll just, I'll, I'll learn as I go along. I hope y'all are doing wonderful. It should be Wednesday or Thursday when this comes out. I took Monday off and uh, Tuesday I was working on Borderlands and uh, doing some favors for some friends of mine who he had uh, he had foot surgery, so he needed somebody to go get some stuff from, uh, for him from the store. And I was just all around about town. It was good times. Uh, but, but yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. And new game. I also wanted you to be able to see me get trophies in real time if I actually get them. Because uh, getting some of the trophies on Deadlock during the um, episode was actually really enjoyable. I like that a lot. Fuel lines? Check. Horizontal stabilizers? Check. Ion thrusters? Looks like we got a tailwind. If we time it right, we can ride the slipstream of the grav train past the sea grid traffic. Ahem. Launch the mag grappler onto that pedway overpass and slingshot out right up to Catch it. The thrusters are fine, Clank. See? <laughs> Don't worry, it's probably just a fused ion duct. Incoming message from Captain Quark. Richard? Clank, I've uh, got a bit of a situation here at the Planetary Defense Center. There's nothing I can't handle, mind you, just a few thousand. Heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you're in the neighborhood, maybe. <laughs> I, I hmm. Heavily armed robotic commandos? When aren't they heavily armed? <laughs> Are you sure this is functioning properly? You worry too much. Planetary Defense Center, here we go. <laughs> trying to keep my mouth shut during the cutscenes. But as soon as the cutscene is over... Okay, good, excellent, awesome. Okay, so, several notes. Um, a lot of people, back when this game first came out, had a big... like I, I, I've read some of the reviews and watched some of the stuff, especially on Golden Bolt. Check out his channel in the... Dis um, it, check out his channel if you haven't heard of it for all your Ratchet and Clank uh, needs, because that's who I go to. He knows pretty much freaking everything, which is awesome. But a lot of people had issues with the way Ratchet looked in the new game that just came, like, the new game. They, they had a game when this game was, they had issues when this game was new and just came out with how he looked. And I can see where they're coming from, but it's not as bad as I thought. And it does eventually get cleaned up in later games, so I'm not worried about it at all. I actually like the way it looks. As long as it plays good. Okay. Sounds nice. Looks good. Welcome back, customer 91802. If you're looking to combat a massive, deadly space armada, the Gadgetron help desk will be happy to assist. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, whoa. Okay, controls are a little bit funky. Okay. 
Okay. Nice, nice. Getting right down into it. Oh, God. I can see. I can see why some people might have some issues. Whoa. Oh, Lord. We don't have strife anymore. We're back to old Ratchet and Clank 1 sort of deal. I've been playing Deadlock for a while. Oh, boy. It does have an auto -tank. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh, man. I like the sound of the bolts. I, I might take some getting used to them. Those are probably... Not. <laughs> Those are probably friendlies. Whoopsie. Get the wrench. Still not sure about what these are. Okay. Yeah, the feel is totally. It's not totally different, but you can feel the difference. No, I jump. I pressed X to jump. I know there was. Uh oh, he got me. Hey. Um. Woo! Gotcha. I'll get used to it. I gotta give him more than a chance. Um. There was also another path that I didn't go down. Oh, Nanotech looks like that now. But I'm just trying to make some progress. I don't know if there's a mini map. Gadget to advise options. Yeah, because it was that way. I didn't go down there. Hmm, I bet this is a jump pad, eh? Yep. <laughs> That's different. You can access the quick select menu by. Okay, good, good, good. Holding down the action button, use the left stick to select your weapon. Okay, that was probably the wrong decision. Uh, oh. Man, oh, 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 oh. I need strength. Oh. I feel like I need strength now. The weapons will improve over time, though. This is like my weakest starting weapon, so... It's to be expected to take a couple of hits, I guess. I guess once they're out of their mech suits, you don't really have to do much to them. They're kind of helpless. We're kind of helpless, you say? That don't sound good. I like it. I like the look and feel of it. I mean, I'm trying to put my head in the space of, you know, hey. This did come out on the PS3 when it was like almost brand new. Like, you know, this is not today's standards we, that we can judge it by. That's not fair. <laughs> and even even by today's standards, it's it's still good. It's still good. Like we're getting there. I'm feeling it. It's tough to go back and play your favorite old games nowadays. Like. <laughs> if you're a Skyrim fan and you're waiting for Elder Scrolls 6, go back and play Morrowind without mods. Now that's a thing. That too came out when I was in high school. Come on! <laughs> Ooh, is that the Pyrocitor? By the way, I finally figured out how to pronounce that correctly. I was calling it the Pyrotractor throughout my entire Let's Play. If you ever saw my Ratchet and Clank Let's Play, I called it the uh, py uh, pyro. What I call it again? Pyro tractor. The entire time. Because that's what I called it when I was like 11. <laughs> oh, I almost missed that. Oh! Yep, that one got me. Six, huh? No, that's not good. I mean, oh. Oh, don't jump! I jumped! Oh, I don't... Okay, I was gonna try to shoot that 
I was going to try to shoot down the ship, but I am apparently unable to do so at this time. I don't have the weapon for it. If you guys could give me some nanotech, I would really appreciate that. By the way, is it still called nanotech? Did you? Hey, you don't just sneak up on a man like that. You don't just sneak up on a man's like that. A man's like me. A holy me. I got nanotech and then immediately lost the dude or sneak attack. Okay, so I can go first person if I need to. For some more precision. What, am I not hitting him? He's gotta be an enemy, right? Yeah. Totally an enemy. Oi! Oh, you! That's what I thought. I better watch my back. They like to come up with. Yeah, those guys. They sneak up on me. Okay, what's with the laser dude? Uh -uh. No, bad laser dude. Don't have the range yet. There we got the range. 70 shots out of 100, so we're doing fine on ammo. Okay, good, good, good. Good on nanotech, yes. Up we go! I wonder, is this Metropolis? Or, yeah, that's the name of it. Is this Metropolis? Dang, okay, wee! Oh, okay, I thought we were doing a little train sequence there, but I guess not. Those are friendlies. Those are not friendlies. Whoa, 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 laser guys. Uh, Necro, close to one first. Don't have range on him. Move up a little bit slowly, there we go. This person helps out a bit. No, oh, come on. I'm sure there are stronger weapons later on. Buster shots. I haven't been using that, um, what's the love, uh, fusion grenade. I don't think I found anything, uh, with the fusion. Where's my save point? Oh god, please. Uh, I don't know how far back this is. Wait, okay, this is not that far. Ah! Cheated. Fusion grenade got some oomph to it. It's got some oomph. Okay, so they are you right? They do have part of the bridge making holes and hey, it's a that's a ratchet and plate one reference. Yay! Ratchet, the skyscraper is collapsing. The what? Oh, the skyscraper's collapsing. Oh, I, I better get the in there. Oh, I, I like the fusion grenade. This is this is good. We like the fusion grenade. Come on. Oh, I'm out! I'm out! I'm over here pressing circle. I'm out. Oh dear. Uh, um. Okay, well, good thing I don't have to aim while I'm that close. Didn't actually mean to hit the fishman there. That was a uh, mistake. Oh, hey! What? I'm aiming. Why is it not doing the main? There it is. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Let me try that again, I was holding down the wrong thing. This guy's gonna be tough to get. I did this distance. Nope, 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 you don't... No, 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 Ratchet Stew is not for you. Combat Stew is not for you. Technically, in my defense, I only got KO'd so far by freaking falling off the road. Aside from that, I'm a mortal. We got this, we got this. No! Dang it! Nope, 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 nope. Ah, okay, that makes it a lot easier. Dang it, I don't know what hit me though. I don't know what hit me. Uh, 
That one didn't hit me, did it? Dang. These guys are aggravating. I got a lot of... Oh, I, and I heard another thing about this game. Um, Golden Bolt said that... I can't remember if it was some or all of your weapons you find throughout the game instead of buying them. I don't think it's all of them. Though. I think it's... It must be some of them. It's nice to be back in the adventure mode again, though. Because, you know, remember... Oh, God. Uh, lag. Uh-oh. Um, do I have any of these left? Yes. No, no, I don't... Aww. Oh, I didn't know Nanotech could go off the level. You saw that? It got pushed off the level. Got pushed off the stage there, you know. I might have still gotten it somewhere. Well, that just seems cool. Hmm. Can't rotate the camera. Not sure if I like that. But I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do this. He's heading towards the planet central defense station. Dispatch an order to the Go, 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 Take those bolts, thank you. I'm probably taking way too long to clear this, but I'm having fun. That one does it automatically. The planetary defense center is 200 cubits below us. How do you propose we get down? I don't know. I'm kind of winging it right now. Oh lord, I gotta do the runny jumpy bits. It's Indiana Jones all of a sudden. Oh, oh gosh! I shouldn't have gone from right together after this. Your oh god. Is upgraded. Weapons upgrade automatically Ooh. as they are used. This increases their damage and adds new modifications. The man hasn't been through a platformer in a while. We doing platform That was lag. That was that was totally lag. You freaking saw it. That is BS. Go! No. Move, move. Move your biscuits. We got to do this. Don't you lag on me. Don't you die on me. Yeah, nanotech. No, don't let the boxes get in the way. Your maximum nanotech level has increased. Stop lagging, please. Thank you for the maximum nanotech increase. Woo! I can't see! It says I was about to say, that is totally nuts. Oh god, this thing. I remember hearing about that. This isn't a six axis. Oh no. This isn't that type of controller. Oh, settings. Woo! <laughs> okay. This isn't that type of controller. This, this, this is not. Um. Enable or disable motion sensors on the six-axis wireless controller. Functionality required for tornado and tempest launcher weapons. Now, oh man, those are so cool. Do I have? I don't think I do. I'll try it next time. I'll try it next time, I promise. So if I turn it off, though, am I just going to be able to move with the direction? Yep. Yeah, I can move with the, with the stick. I can move with the stick. I'll try and see if I have a controller that's compatible after this. I might be able to plug in my PS4 controller into the USB slot and use that. If I can, looks I will. Looks quiet. Where's Quark? Greetings, citizen. I'm away from my post at the Planetary Defense Center. 
Commander, please enter the number that best describes your emergency. If you are being attacked by radioactive amoeboids, please press 1. If you have been injected by a mutant space eel, please press 2. If your city is being attacked by a massive deadly space armada, please press 3. intended target. You think? Yeah, I know. It's not all about what's going on. Oh, but hey! That was too quick. I know, not all about... What the... Okay, so before they fire, I need to make my move run. I do know a bit about that storyline based on what I saw from the Golden Bolts review. Like, he does like a, a looking back sort of series. And I don't remember much of it. It's like My sensors are picking up this guy. To the grind rail. The sensors are next to the grind rail. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything like that. Oh, right. Subtitles. I don't know if that's an option. Ah, see? That's important for Let's Plays. You always want that on. I'm a professional. professional here anyway um yeah i'll get back to it i'll get back to it okay we got that on and go that way in case i yammer over anything you can still at least freaking read it Ratchet, that warship is gaining on us okay it'd be great if the stuff that was actually work oh, I, I like this I see what you're doing there. That's that's pretty good. That's that's good game design right there. It's like the ship following us, and I can see the um, you see the laser beams and the activation on the other go. But it's gonna be this one. Yep, there, there you go. Rock paper scissors. There. <laughs> Percival? <laughs> Emperor! See the crown? See the scepter? The giant walking throne and legion of royal robotic commandos? Emperor! Not that a treacherous furball like you could... What's this? <laughs> such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got posomorphic plaster cannons in his fingertip. My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you. Surrender your death bot. And simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go! <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's a good start. It's a good start. Autopilot engaged. Whoa! Hang on, Clank! Hyperspace boosters online. Engage in cryosleep. Cryosleep? I don't know. There's no way I'm gonna... It is fortunate cryosleep does not work on robots. <laughs> I didn't see... Okay, I actually didn't see that. That was <laughs> I can't remember the whole plot of that. Jesus Christ. It was awfully bright for a second there. Like, oh boy. Clank! Clank! Are you okay? You got knocked out there for a minute. 
I am fine. Where are we? Beats me. Ship must have run out of fuel while on autopilot. Come on, we need to find another ship and get back to Kerwan. Oh, nice look to it. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good. I think I might want to save at this point. Options. Very nice. Okay, so it already auto-saved. You know us old gamers. Never trust the auto-save. Always manually save. Even if that's even if it's the same damn thing. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time I have left for this episode. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, I'm really looking forward to starting up this series and looking what all the <laughs> they're not even the newer or more recent Ratchet and Clank games. It, I'm still not even in the current generation, not even close. But I'm enjoying looking back at what I missed because I never got to play any of these ones. And a lot of people, a lot of people coming up nowadays never got to play them either. They don't know what in the heck it is. It's like you say Ratchet and Clank, they're like, oh yeah, the new one. And it's, turns out there was a lot of ones before that. that. Also, that thing in the background slithering right there, that is freaking awesome. Can you see my mouse? That thing is awesome. Did you see that? It reminds me of the Leviathans on Subnautica. Come on. Bro, are you kidding me? That's so freaking cool. Anyway. Um, that's all the time I have left for this episode. I hope you all enjoy it. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Likes always appreciated. I should be starting up, obviously, this as well as uh, Underdogs probably next week. Uh, I, I'm waiting for it to go on sale, but it might not even bother to go on sale, so I might just get it. So I'm looking into it, but we'll see how that turns out. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.